You're listening to Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. On the virus. Serious XM. Speaking of which, uh, Brewer called me the last couple of days. He's like, I got to come on the show to talk about uh, a certain person in his neighborhood that's driving you nuts to the point I think police are involved, lawyers police. are involved. I've never seen Jim like this. this never is, seen him no. aggressive and fucking chomping at the bit. This never. Is stuff you Dude, see I'm going to churches asking fucking pastors to pray for me and shit. <laughs> is that fucking bad? I, I'm, I'm going, will you please pray for me that I don't do something stupid? <laughs> that to Just yeah. because I want to do something stupid. Yeah. I would never do, I would never sacrifice right. my wife for kids or family, but this guy is such. What could he possibly be doing? All right, for, all right. Yeah, start from the beginning. Yeah, all right. yeah. First of all, first of all, from the minute he moved in my neighborhood, shady. Now, shady. Now you had lived there already. Lived there already. Having a great time, loving your neighborhood. Riding bicycles <laughs> up and down, and bling bling, fucking enjoying life. Right. right. Avoiding the Go deer. Go karts. Little deer action. A little. You got like a herd. That's all right. I, I accepted that part of my life. Wait, I just figured something Trampolines out. Trampolines in the yard. Hold Having on. fun. Having fun. Hold and on, Jim. Yes, eating pies. Brewer. What? Uh, yes. All right. But I don't want to... <laughs> yes. All right. All, yeah. right. All right, I know what's going You've on. You've been to the house? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Now, this guy... Mo First of all, he moves in. I'm just going to call him the pizza guy. Okay. And anyone in, in New Jersey... In the chest area, knows exactly what I'm talking about immediately. All right. Now, pizza guy. First of all, he moves in. When he moves in, he moves in at between midnight two in the morning for like four straight days. Immediate, immediately, I'm like, what? Red flag. Red, yes. Big red flag. Vampire. I lived. <laughs> <laughs> Not Sparatu on the mailbox. <laughs> the way this is the way he introduced himself to me. I mean, I'm in my yard. And with my with my family, kids, uh, niece, he comes strolling in my yard. He looks like uh, he looks like Al Pacino in Godfather. He's got this dead eye, creepy, <laughs> death look, and he's always got a Marlboro red hanging. And he talks like this. He go he go. Uh, Listen, I live cross street. I was in your yard five in the morning, and. Uh, and I want to, I want to spear a book. Can I spear? No. Hey, how are you? Are these the kids? Because of my fucking yard. I, I, I want to spear a book. I said, what are you talking about? I, what's a buck? He goes, a deer, buck. I want to spear him I, in your yard. I want your permission. You the boss, right? I said, hold on a second. <laughs> wow. What? Oh, what is it? This is, this is my mom. <laughs> this is my dad. This is my nieces, whatever. Yeah, yeah. has a big backyard, just so people know. And there are... Apparently. There are herds of deer that just go flying by at... Yeah. At uh, different yeah. times three of the day. acres. We're not talking Pennsylvania wow. uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, cow farm. <laughs> yeah. So with that... I said, no, nah, man. You know what? My wife is so freaky into f animals. If if she even heard this conversation, she'd slice your throat, watch the blood gurgle out, and, <laughs> and dance in it and laugh at you while you're taking less breath. He went, well, that's why I ask. That's why I ask. So two weeks later, I'm going to have breakfast, and my five-year-old goes, Daddy, there's a man with a rifle in the yard. <laughs> what the Holy shit. I said, what? I look in the back. There's some guy in camouflage. <laughs> Way out in the woods going tree to tree. And I'm like, holy shit, my heart's going 40 <laughs> billion invasion. miles an hour. <laughs> now, at the time I had my nephew who lived with me, who's straight out of the Who's Gal. All right, so oh, he's, shit. he's like a human pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, down, down, down. He, I said, stay in the house. We're going to call the police. Well, him like a dope goes outside. Now, I know it's from my, I know it's from the pizza man. Because only the pizza man could have saw where he was standing. And the minute he went outside, the, pe the, the, the rifle guy instantly picked up a phone and he took off. So he's in, he's constantly talking about his guys. His guys. So anyway, this is a couple of years ago, whatever. This cut to this summer. Wait, did the cops come or no? Wait, oh, the, yeah, yeah, they came, wait, but this the guy was gone. And this isn't even the incident yet? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we didn't get there. All Doesn't right. this guy First know of all, this about, guy's um, asked, what? Doesn't this guy know about, like, you can't just hunt in, in neighborhoods? No, because apparently he's a bag of rocks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he, f he fell off the boat. Yeah. Uh, 
Eh, go find some land and eh, go open up a pizza place, eh? Huh? Tell me, I got kind of mad. He thinks he's 1930s, this jackass. Yeah, he could just hunt. <laughs> yeah. He just hunt in the neighborhood. Yeah, he has <laughs> funniest, funniest sound ever. Boat. <laughs> 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 there it is, Jimmy. Jesus. The Statue of Liberty's going by in black and white. Pizza man, I saw you right to us. We're gonna miss you. Pizza man. <laughs> uh, so now, <clears throat> cut to. He opens up a pizza joint very close to the neighborhood. I, every other, Jimmy, uh, big favor. First he goes, can you come do show outside pizza place? I said, <laughs> what am I, Rich Voss? <laughs> exactly. Voss had to send a tape. <laughs> I don't know. Try a Starbucks first. <laughs> uh, take that, stupid. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's fucking okay. hilarious. Yeah. So, uh, it gives you the mentality of the rock of the pizza man. I said, I can't. No. I'm not going to. So I go out and I hang out. He constantly calls me, you know, my kids, they, my delivery. They, they love to, uh, you come here, mean a lot to them. I go there, I say hello. He's Jeez. got me doing charity. He scares the daylights out of the neighborhood. He bullies and barters everybody, everyone. Jim, uh, can I use your fax machine? <laughs> <laughs> I, I got these faxes from Italy. They can't understand any of it. Holy shit. He stops me last summer. He's like, where, where you office at? In the middle of the street, flags me down. I said, what are you talking about? He goes, I need your address. For what? I open up business. I need your address. I said, oh what my a God. fucking... What, I said, a, what a set of balls. A set of balls. I'm not even exaggerating. You know, anyone in my town will tell you how fucking nuts this guy. So I go, I'm not, I, don't know my, I don't know my address. And he goes, you know, know where you work? I said, my sister knows him. Give me your sister number. I swear to God. I went, yeah, here's the number. Four, one, <laughs> two, <laughs> six, two, one, eight. Get out of here, jackass. <laughs> so, oh my God. Cut to. Holy shit. Cut to everyone hates this guy. Everyone's having problems with this guy in town. That's all I hear. It's all over the place. Oh, this guy did this to me, did that to me. And that's another thing. He's shoving all the other pizza. He's starting to battle with other towns. He's like, I'm going to run that guy out. I, I, I go there and I threaten him and I told that guy in Mendham, he, he, he piece of shit and his car's come my way and I'm going to show him. Like, you're going you're gonna to get whacked. You're going to get whacked. Well, cut to this summer. We go on a big RV trip. Yeah, I totally, totally sold out to the family world. Love it. Get my RV. I'm doing gigs and fucking halftime gigs. I'm on the road. I come home. I hear all this crazy shit. He's going through this sick divorce to the point where he's turning off the heat. He's not paying the bills. Oh, shit. He pulls up as I'm unloading. So here's where it begins. He goes, he gets out of, I, I stupid me. I, Cause I like the guy, although he's crazy. I've never had a problem. You figured he was just a nut. He's just a nut, but he's never bothered me. Right. I never had a... Yes. Except for guns in the backyard. Yeah. Guns in the yard. He tells me, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm going to... You know, my guys are going to take care of this guy in Italy because uh, he take my grandfather's gun. And so my, he, he see what happened. My guys show up. He, <laughs> but I tell you this because I love you like a brother. This is... Oh, he loves everyone like a brother. You don't want to hear those stories. No. Though. No. You don't want to be involved. But now I'm exploiting them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he pulls up and he goes, Jimmy, um... I said, I put my hand on his heart, like, you know, man, you need to talk. I hear all this. He looks like Scarface in the third act <laughs> when he's sitting behind the yeah, desk yeah. and he's just <laughs> face, he's mangled. I said, Joe, you all right, man? Every, you know, you all right? He gets out of the car, lights up his Marlboro Red, which he chain smokes. He's like, you know, fuck her, man. Let me tell you something. He goes, uh, I'm going to bury my wife. I'm going to, you want the house? Take the house. You're going to foreclose. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to take my son. I'm going to bring him to Italy. She never see him no more. Uh, I, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. So he's going on and on and on about these horrible things he's going to do to the wife. Yeah, that's always nice to hear. Witness. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you know, you really, you should think about the kids. He goes, I don't give a shit. She could have the kids. I don't give a shit. I take my son. I go to Italy. I make a $5 million a year. I got 39 guys working for me. I got trucks. I got this. But at the end of the conversation, he goes, uh, listen, Jimmy, uh, uh, um, 
don't take it personally, but she gonna get a letter, and the letter say, uh, you know, the kids, uh, they, they not come over the house. I said, what, what are you talking about? He goes, I don't want her to be able to bring uh, children nowhere. I want her slave. So I, I really don't know what he's talking about. So now, oh my God. again, you don't know what he's no, talking about. I, I, I'm really not sure what he's talking about. And people are wondering if uh, this pizza guy <laughs> delivers pizza with cheese in the ring of the crust. <laughs> jackpot! Jackpot! <laughs> yeah. Hence jackpot, right? Jackpot! Maybe not... that's what triggered it all. <laughs> You're trying to take him out <laughs> yeah. of business. See what the fuck? He saw the commercial and went, motherfucker! <laughs> Who this guy Jimmy do the pizza hut? This guy, I had the idea of the cheese in the crust. I don't think there's a pizza hut in Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're getting we're getting to a really good part. Oh yeah, well, no, 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 so good because he doesn't want his Whole wife bringing is. the kids over to your house. He doesn't want. Be, so now I hear the the kids are kicked out of camp because someone you know she can't have babysitters and all this is nightmare. Now I'm starting to hear all these guys in town call me on the road. They're like Brewer. What's going on with you and the pizza guy? I said, what? You and the pizza guy? I said, what? What's going on? There's, oh, uh, we walk in the restaurant. And he tells everyone you're you're a drug addict and that um, he's got a restraining order against you to keep away from the kids. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, wait, are you kidding me? Are you? F Please tell me you're kidding me. He's like, no. It was, he goes, bro, I, I wouldn't care, but there were like a lot of customers. There, there was customers in there and he didn't know. Mm -hmm. it, and he took it. This is how stupid he is. I did an article. To start my new tour, and the tour was like, yeah, you know, I used to smoke pot, but now I'm a family guy, and I don't even curse on stage, bring your wife, and it's going to be great. <laughs> so he takes that, he goes, oh, G Jimmy, do drugs. Okay, now I, now I get to bury him. It's like, <laughs> oh, so he takes the article, and he shows people, and everyone that tells you, he goes, you know, this one guy calls me, this is like the fourth guy he calls, he goes, he looks retarded because I read the article three times. I go, what's the problem? He goes, look, he, he, used, he do marijuana. He goes, yeah, but he says he used to years ago. What, what's the, what are you talking about? He goes, he dead to me. He dead to me. So this is what I'm hearing. And, I'm and not, you were his pal. Your his brother, pal. like a brother to yeah, him. you guys got along. <laughs> I, I'm starting to get annoyed. <laughs> but I, 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 Now, like a dope, he has no clue my niece is in town. He opened up a limo business, which is like a Harlem liver, you know, they, like the cars you see in Harlem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you go to my town, it's like this nice town. This is white trash <laughs> limo. Have you seen a prom in 1978? <laughs> right. <laughs> right, guy from Nicaragua, dragon. <laughs> you want to go to 15, 70, and I bring you there for $180. Yeah. The bumper's not on right. Yeah. <laughs> it's right. slightly askew. I'm not even lying, there's dents in the car. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's all we all know the, the limo yeah. you're talking about. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So he starts, she she calls, she texts me, and she's like, Jim, this fun guy's talking about NT, my wife. I go, what are you talking about? This limo guy, he he brought up that he's single because his neighbors are assholes and he, the guy's on drugs and the wife is uh, crazy and ruined. I said, what's the guy? Ju mm, I can't uh, say But I went, are you, are you fucking kidding? So. This is building up inside me. Now, the wife, they're going through the divorce. The wife gets a letter from the lawyer going up. The kids are no longer, here's the letter. Jim Brewer is no longer allowed near my kids because he's a known drug user. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Dude. Sorry. I'm in, a, I'm in a movie theater like watching Up or something right. with the kids. You junkie. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, he probably thinks the movie Up is about drugs. <laughs> so we finished the movie. Yep. Now we took two cars. My wife's turning. She's like, don't do something stupid. Don't, don't drive right home. I can see that look in your face. I've never, I haven't, I haven't seen this look in your face since you were 18. You're like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I go 90 miles an hour to his pizza joint. I go to the pizza place. I'm like, where's... Where's Pizza Man? Uh, he, he not here. Well, you tell him that I'm looking for him because I'm tired of his family bathing in my house because he doesn't pay bills and he shuts off the gas and there's no electricity, so they have to shower in my house. You tell him that, Mr. Drug Guy. All right? <laughs> you have him call me. He never calls. Never calls. Well, you're dead to him. Two weeks later, I'm in my yard having a great day. 
<laughs> wiffle ball or something. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Rock and I had my ball. family out. I had my parents, oh, what a in-laws. Beautiful sky. All of a sudden, his kids come walking in my yard. With the wife. She's like, oh, he's, uh, he's scaring me. He's this. I'm like, oh, I don't you need, need this, this shit. I don't need this shit. So my wife's like, you know, stay here. I pull my wife out. I really don't want them here. I don't want them here. I'm spending the... Well, yeah, she's fucking having problems. Whatever. <laughs> Hour later, his kid's playing wiffle ball. He, he doesn't even... He's never bought it. He, he never hangs out with the kids. Ever. Ever. So all of a sudden... The kids go, somebody's staring at us from the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Jesus, no. I t- you turn around, <laughs> it's Pizza Man. He's in the, he's in the neighbor's yard, spying. <laughs> so now... This is like... Pizza Man. This is like a crazy, bad movie, man. man. This is like yeah, a, a yeah. horrendous horror movie. So Pizza Man is in the next yard spying on my family and his kids. So the wife is like, why don't you come out of here like a man? You want to see your kids? You're back in this. I'm at the net. And oh. So he starts walking to his house. And I'm like, Phew. now we're going to have our conversation. So I don't think now everyone that works for him are like immigrants that he literally enslaves. <laughs> if you talk to him, they're like, oh, I got the word for him because uh, he's going to turn me in. <laughs> <laughs> we're all t- t- junkies and so Holy shit. I go to him, and I swear to God, on a very, very human level, yeah. I swear my kids' lives. I go, uh, <clears throat> I go, pizza man. <laughs> you want to talk to your kids? Why don't you go talk to your kids? He won't look me in the face. Well, he smokes a cigarette. He looks down at ground. He's, he's circling around like a hyena, waiting for the lions to finish eating the fucking gazelle. Hey, Mocha so, Joe. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Joe. <laughs> Pizza man. That's interesting. Yeah, uh, okay. Very close to. Uh, it's funny you said that. <laughs> oh, okay. So anyway, uh, I go listen. Uh, you want to talk to your kids? Go talk to your kids. What What are you staring in the woods for? He's he's smoking a cigarette. I go, uh, listen to me. I don't care what you've been saying around town because a lot of people coming up to me, I don't think you realize how many people know me. He, go, Oh, no, I said, I'm, you know, I came in the pizza place looking for you. You really pissed me off about that drug. He go, this is what he says. You got that all right. You got that right. You had every right to be angry. I said, well, I don't care what you say about me. Don't talk about my wife. He go, what are you talking about? Now, he's not supposed to have a limo business because his papers aren't done. He's not supposed to collect money. Oh, shit. So I said, my niece was in the car when you drove her. He went ballistic. I never drive in the fucking car. Who <laughs> taught? He gets his finger in my face. And now I'm thinking, all right, touch me. Go on. time. Now, I got my kids watching. Yeah. My parents, my in law. Everyone's, <laughs> everyone's like, oh my God. Jesus Christ, Jimmy, get in the house. Like, everyone be quiet. I ain't afraid of this little fag. <laughs> Which is what he is. He's a little fag. So, <laughs> so he doesn't dare touch me. He's, he's, he's going, to who you niece? I said, I'm not going to tell you who my niece is. Yeah. The fact is, you were in the car and you were talking about me and my wife. Don't do that. You, you son of a bitch. I know, fuck. I am, uh, blah, 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 blah. And I said, don't tell your kids I'm drugs either because I'm tired of them coming over here going, uh, hey, Missy Jamie, my daddy say you want drugs. Uh, so he he gets he gets intimidated by me because I looked him in the eye and yeah. I kept walking up to him every time he walk away. So he turns around and he goes, "You disrespect me." Oh, oh shit. no! I said, "How do I disrespect you?" He goes, "I told you, my kids come in your house. You send them home." I said, first of all, stop yelling." And second of all, don't tell me what to do with my family. Your kids come over my house. They, I'm not going to tell my kids what to do. And I'm going to send your kids home. I go, you got problems with your wife. You deal with your wife. Don't don't involve me in your bullshit. He goes, I told you. You know what? You're going to get it. You're going to get it on a Tuesday. What? And he starts walking away. <laughs> what? He starts walking away like, Tuesday, you're going to get it on a Tuesday. Now, Tuesday, I'm going to L.A. <laughs> And so I'm like, oh my god, I gotta leave this nutball <laughs> yeah. with my wife and kids. What does that mean? I'm gonna get it Tuesday. On Tuesday. So now I call the cops. I didn't call the cops. Someone in the family called the cops right. while this is going on. Cops come. I get all I'm gonna say is that's when I got scared and they were like, 
That guy? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they just they kind of know about it. Stay them. clear. They're like, dude, yeah. So I do my own investigating as for, he's up for, apparently he's up for assault. With a de- this, is a, this is what a bag of rocks this jackass Holy is. Holy shit. He Why are you muscle- on our show telling this? This is great. This, 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 this bag of rocks. Yeah. There's a town pool. Did you do the noise again for the bag of rocks? <laughs> 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 Peace of man and take you bag of rocks. Uh, and remember, if anybody confront you, you come to mama. Mama give you huggy. And mama making you sauce. <laughs> I, 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 I can come here with nothing but the change in my pocket. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's gonna leave with nothing too. <laughs> they're calling it they're calling this Brewers Lakeview Terrace. <laughs> <laughs> so so, okay, so so bag of rocks. The Cops show up. Cops go up. And say, oh, I'm not boy. even going to say what I learned there, but they said, listen, we're going to make a police report. Did you learn some bad stuff, though? I learned Safe bad to stuff. Say? I learned bad I stuff. I learned bad stuff. Multiple bad stuff? Multiple bad stuff. Oh, shit. Were you scared or angry? Both. Okay. More, more angry because, especially what happened right after this. This is when I got angry. This is when my blood level right. went through the roof. And, and so... Oof. Now, just to give you an idea, this jackass in town, he's up for assault with a deadly weapon, but it's, it sounds worse than it is. Right. Basically, what he did was, this, has, this is what a bag of rocks he is. It, it, some guy came to the town pool, which he bullied himself into. He literally <laughs> sending fish and letters to the guy that had the place. <laughs> so, guy, guy gets, the, can, the, I, can I, can I, I gotta, I gotta help. Not, go this doesn't need help, but I've been to Brewer's house in his neighborhood. This is like the most peaceful. Beyond peaceful. It's like the, the, the epitome of suburbia. <laughs> this is you. what yes, I got worried yes, about too. Yes. I'm and not gonna, you got this guy just like, just. We live, everybody and- we live in a place, he had about 50 trees in front of his house. I used to walk out and stare at woods and trees and oh, he'd chop no. down every... Nah. That's what I heard for three straight weeks. <laughs> 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 He wants to cement the place so bad. Dude, he's so stupid. This guy comes to me, living there one month. He go, Jim, guess, guess what? First of all, you need to know. You know what they call me? The Italian Jew. I said, really? He goes, that's right, because I got a tie-in, and I know how to chew people down. <laughs> oh, this is, now, he drives like 90 miles up my driveway. <laughs> Gets out of the car. He can't wait to tell me this. I go, what's up, Pete's man? He goes, I just bought it two horses, two thoroughbred. I name them Zambuca and Espresso. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to my kids' lives. <laughs> he goes, how much? How much do you think I? How much you think I buy the horse for? I I said, it's like first of all, who gives a shit? Second yeah, of all, peace okay. man. I I don't know how much. I I don't know. He go go, go ahead, guess one. He thoroughbred. The other one, he he prize winner. <laughs> uh, Sixteen thousand. He go five thousand for the both of them. I said, all right, two weeks later, he's burying them in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I've got horse flies the size of my pinky <laughs> fucking up my summers for like the last three years. He's got sheep. He comes in my house. Probably he just needed the heads. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> he comes over my house. He's like, you know, how about I chop down your trees? Oh, great. I want to put my livestock here. I said, dude, you're not going to Pennsylvania. You're not coming to my house <laughs> to create a farm. Are you retarded? Are you re... <laughs> Make sure you take your bag of rocks eh? Take your bag of rocks And pizza man eh? Holy And shit. when people question you You show them the bag of rocks And say that's in my head <laughs> Fucking guy so, Alright so the pool uh, The pool he spooks the guy at, So this guy at yeah, the pool Holy now, shit. Pub, this is all public records so I, I don't okay. mind talking about it. You can go and check out any police report on him Mm-hmm. Police report is this is how the beggar rocks. The guy's like, you know, I'm eating a sandwich. Leave me alone. He's going, you take a business away from me. You can no eat here. He goes, you know, you can fuck yourself. He goes, I'm going to kick your ass. The guy calls a cop because he threatens, I'm going to kill you. And cops come. What day did he pencil his death in? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got Let about 50 uh, guys. Yeah. Tuesday, I'm a busy with the, <laughs> with the brewer. <laughs> <laughs> I know do Tuesday, but I come on you on uh, Tuesday night. Right after third delivery. <laughs> this guy, 
So the cops come. This jackass, while the cops are there, already settled the situation. He goes, no, this is in no way I do things. I show you how I do things. Goes to his car, oh. opens his trunk, and takes out a freaking uh, police billy club. So they're like, oh, illegal. Hands on the roof, boom, yeah. uh, in the car. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. He goes, this is the way I do it. So now that's assault. With a, or you went to assault. He's also up for gun charges, too, because uh, that's another whole thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> cut to later that night, after... Uh, after, after the cops go... <laughs> after, is, that the, is that the day? Yes. yes. Okay. So okay. now i got to leave the next day to L.A., and I'm a little worried, and they said, we're going to be in your driveway. Don't worry about it. He comes, he comes down here. He drives a mile over the limit. We get, don't worry about it. Now, every day, he, his goons drive up and down my neighborhood. Every... Freaking day. They steal her mail. It's jackasses. Holy yeah, we just. Oh, I've had federal agents call my house. This gets good. <laughs> oh my wow. God. So now, so now, 11 30 at night. 11 30 at night. My door knocks. Bum, 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 bum. Like, what the fuck? Open the door. It's the cops. The guy's got this face like, I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I said, what's the matter? His wife was so scared. Because of his menacing, he he. We watch him in the middle of the night. He'd go knock on the window and just stand outside the window, like a like Cape Fear, lunatic. And just lunatic, just a control. He's sick control right, right. freak. Never touched her, but he's sick control. He wants to control you. Mind control. Mind control. <laughs> Jimmy, you know Mind all about control. that. <laughs> Secret societies. <laughs> Next on my program, it's Jim's neighbor, the pizza man. Now, pizza man, this is a conspiracy. <laughs> well, co man. this is what the cops say. Oh, uh, shit. You, this, you can't make this shit up. The cop goes, Jim, I, I, we apologize. Um... Uh, Lieutenant said, I have to come here because he legally called. I have to make sure his children are not being kidnapped. <laughs> Holy mother of fuck. But that's the moment I knew he was a bitch. What a, what a little bitch. Yeah. To call the cops to just... Now you're a bitch. You just you just put your dress on and you pierced. You're, you're a bitch. You're now officially. I'm gonna send you some makeup. Yeah, yeah. So now he's like, I'm gonna call the cops on you now. So he sends the cops to my house to harass me and my family. And so I go, You're kidding me, right? And he goes, <laughs> He laughs. He's like, No, I'm not kidding. I go, you know, he's. I said, Why don't you talk to his wife? His wife is right here. She's scared to go home. And he's like, I don't need to come in. He's like, I just want to let you know he called and legally I had to come here. And just, next time we'll call on the phone. I said, all right, now it's okay. This this better end right here. <laughs> this better end right here. So what happens? She's now going away. The wife is going away. Now, granted, he doesn't pay one bill. Now he's driving around a white Mercedes all over town. He's He's got like 10 cars. He won't pay a bill for his kids or right, his wife. Right, right. He wants to put them in the gutter. Now, all of a sudden, the wife gives us, like, I'm going away. He steals my freaking bills, which he does. I see him go there and pick up his mail every day. He's got a court order now that says he's not allowed to pick up the mail. He's not allowed to go to the house without a police escort. He breaks it every day. <laughs> goes there, takes the mail, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he goes there. So he asked my, she asked my wife to pick up the mail. Four days later... Freaking! Hi, this is uh, you know Charlie from the federal. Oh no! <laughs> Mail tampering. Yes. Oh shit! And uh, we have a um, police report saying uh, Pizza Man uh, is is saying that you know your wife's a suspect of stealing mail. Went. All right. <laughs> oh <laughs> Christ! God. So the cops go, again. You're a bitch. You know she's taking. You know. That's some bitch shit. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's some bitch shit. You're not even a man anymore. You're a bitch. You're a you're baby. Well, you got a vagina. You disrespect him. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're you're in, just goes. Huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're in <laughs> hell, bro. He's in. You you're are in fucking hell. on fire, pissed. Beyond yeah, on I, fire, I pissed. Tell. I wanna. I know exactly where he walks at night. 
I know exactly who he's banging in town. Everyone knows who he's banging in town. Oh. Everyone knows everything about this. Jet. The, this is what made me feel better, though. I swear my kids' lives, every human being I bump into goes, let me tell you something about that pizza guy. <laughs> Everyone's got a story. So when someone does eventually do something to him, He's not going to know who. There's going to be so like, many people. He's pissed, just... he's pissed off Mexicans. He's pissed off the, the community. He's <laughs> yeah. pissed off uh, the, ta the every imaginable person in town he's had a run-in with. Yeah. It's, and that made me go, all right, it's not just me. Yeah, it's not it's, just you. I feel better. I feel better. You know a mistake you made? But not, well, obviously, wrong place, wrong time, because you're pretty close proximity. Yes. But uh, also... Getting involved yep. in any way, shape, or form helping. with even helping. Yes, you're you're too nice of a guy. Correct is what you did. Correct, and and, uh, you and know, now look, look how that pays you. Look off. at how that pays me off with yeah. a federal with a Fed coming to you. Fed door. coming to the door and to oh, quote man. Scarface, "Look at you now, you stupid fuck." <laughs> 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 right. So <laughs> now and now we got another. Well, the cops call and they're like, "Listen, we already called the federal agent. We told." I said, "Well, fuck that." I want him charged for false police report. He he's not allowed to pick up mail, so he can't make he can't make clip. This is what, listen. This, <laughs> the cops are all like, listen, man. Ah, this guy's it. out of his mind, and to prove that he doesn't know is a whole new you know <laughs> bag of rocks. <laughs> We're dealing with a bag of rocks. So, all right. So now, uh, about two weeks about two weeks ago. <clears throat> I'm sitting in my house. This still continues? Holy... Oh, dude. Two What's weeks... the duration of this whole thing from beginning to now been so End of far? August. From the end of August. From the end of August. Okay. That, actually, it was like the first week of September. So last got, week okay. of August. We got three more months to go here. When it got really bad. All right. When it got... He moved in a couple years ago. Yeah. August. Everything was great with this guy. Until he started telling me what I need to do. Right. right. Don't tell me what I need to do because you're banging everyone in town and you're... And your relationships in the dumper. It's not my problem. Yeah. I'll help you. I'll even take care of your kids like, like, better than you take care of them. <laughs> Apparently. See, his kid came over yesterday like, my daddy bought me a private jet to go to Orlando. Like, you're <laughs> kidding me, right? I said, oh, that's exciting. He goes, yeah. He's bringing my mama and uh, he say, you know, well, he's going to steal me. Uh -huh. Oh, that's, that's, that's nice talk. Great. Your father's great. He taught me how to shoot gun. <laughs> oh, that's a good dad. It's a good pizza man's a good class citizen. <laughs> good class act, that guy, that pizza guy. So, so you smooth things over with the federal agents. Yeah, the federal agents, no problem. Okay. Car drives by my neighborhood, pulls in my neighbor's yard, pulls all the way in the backyard. I I know it's not pizza man's. I know it's not any of his guys that work for him. I call up the wife. I say, you expecting someone today? Someone just pulled the neighbor. <gasps> My neighborhood. Call the police. I said, it looks like a it doesn't look like a menacing car. Why don't I go check? I'm on the phone with the wife. I go, stay on the phone with me. I walk back, no one's in the car. And she has a barn in her backyard, a little barn like a garage. And it's just the door's shut, no one's back there. This, so I'm like, this so little I'm odd. like, what? I go, uh, let me give you the license plate, and then I'm gonna call the police because I don't know where these people are. While I'm talking to her, the barn door opens. <laughs> Two of his guys are there. One's about six foot four. The other one's about two foot five. And, and the big guy goes, hey, uh, I, how you doing? I said, good, everything cool? He goes, yeah, I'm just feeding the animals. And he was. He, he, had animal, he was feeding animals. At least what I saw, because he was, he was hiding behind the door. So I said, all right. Oh, no. So I tell the wife, I go, he's feeding animals. They're feeding animals. It's, it's very legit. She's like, my animal, those animals must be gone. He's in court. He's feeding the animals. I walk away. I go to my house. I watch them drive away. I said, drive away, I wave. I got no problem with them. Ten minutes later. Oh, no. Jim, uh, can you tell me what happened about, uh, you know, it's a sergeant. Can you tell me what happened about ten minutes ago? <laughs> oh, my God. What the fuck? What do you mean? What happened? I don't know. What happened? Holy he goes, well, I, I need your side of the story. <laughs> what story? What are you talking about? Uh, what happened across the street? Oh. I'm thinking the wife called the police. Uh huh. I said, well, this car came in and you pulled the backyard. I went there, no one's there, and I was on the phone with her the whole time. And they said they were feeding animals, and uh, that was it. That's what I. All right, that's all we need to hear. 
I hear him in the background going, I want to hear fucking charge for trespassing. <laughs> Oh, he 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 threatened my workers. He threatened my workers. He's a bitch. Threatened. <laughs> wow. He's up at the pe he's he up at the police up so bad. He wants me locked up. Yeah. What a what a whack job. So he's at the police department. There's a police report. It says and it's really funny in the police report it says even though we explained to Pizza Man over and over again there's no trespassing, there was no harassment, wow. no threats. He insisted that we arrest him, and then me and the lawyer are going to do something. So as you do, he sends me a letter. I wish I brought the letter today. I, I forgot the letter on my counter. It looks like a third grader wrote this. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a third grader wrote this. I start showing everyone in town. I'm like, you want to see something funny? <laughs> uh, now, can, can I legally say the lawyer's name that sent it to me? I wouldn't say any names. Yeah, I, okay. would, I would stay. I would All I'm going to say is the lawyer is obviously a guy that he went to. He's like, can you, uh, can you, uh, I'll give you two slices of pizza. You write this letter and just say lawyer. Dear Jim Brewer, I am going to so sue you. Yeah. Uh, your lawyers, your neighbor's lawyer, Frank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, hey, I mumbled through that, that one. That was so funny. <laughs> yeah, and it's basically like, this is Rocco. Um, um, you, my client, uh, Pizza Man, um, my client, Pizza Man, needs you to stop harassing his employees and... You need to stay away from his children. I understand there's a court order that says you're not allowed anywhere near his children, and you know you are going to reap the consequences. Oof. So today, I you know, t I finally I'm like, you know what? Now I gotta now I gotta call the lawyer. And yeah, now you gotta fucking. So now I call the guy, and so we just launched our missile, and it came today. Now I can legally read my letter, right? Yeah, I just wouldn't yeah, say sure, his name. Just don't say anything his name. No, no, I'm not going to say I'm not going to yeah. say his name. So Actually, now, Pizza Man. It says so, it on the... Uh, <laughs> when no, I, Bag of Rocks. When we <laughs> sent... <laughs> pizza Man. When... Dude, I'm telling you, I showed this around town. Everyone, yeah. I showed it to a lawyer, and the guy laughed, and he went, this ain't a lawyer. This is a jackass. Yeah. And so, when we found out, my lawyer goes, you know, he's listed under a real estate guy. He goes, he's technically, he's technically a lawyer. He is a lawyer, but he's like a meatball, this guy. So, you would you would enjoy this because these guys handle metallic. Oh, I certainly would. Uh, yeah, so like, just this guy's a beast. Yeah. He's a beast. He's got, you got a, beast. A, real, a real guy. A real lawyer. Yeah, he's so a beast real, of a lawyer. Even, even, I wish I had the wording. The Going wording. against the guy that's a part-time lawyer. Right. My I lawyer, wish I, he is such a good lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> I give him a tomato sauce. <laughs> when you have barn animals, honey baby, it's hard to convince me that you're feeding them. <laughs> I love that term for a good lawyer, too, a beast. Yeah. It's a <laughs> beast. So here's where we're at in the battle royale. And you know what? At the end of the day, I wanted nothing to do with this. Right. And this jackass just keeps pulling me in. You got forced into this whole situation. I got situation. forced into this nonsense. Yes. yes. So, here, I'll read the letter. Ready? <laughs> here we go. Dear Mr. Jerkoff, <laughs> we represent Jim Brewer and are responding to your letter of the, whatever the date. We're unclear of your intentions in sending the letter and do not fully comprehend the ambiguous threats contained therein. In order to insist us, in advising our client, please provide us with copies of any court orders served upon Mr. Brewer, which in any way purport, I don't even know what that word is, <laughs> purport, purport. I think maybe further the cause yeah. of or further the thought of, that's just a, a guess. Thank you, Jim. I could be totally wrong. No, it's I like think you're show. right. Purport. Wait, show, but they, they, if they show. Yes. That, Correct. Yeah. That purport to restrict his activities. While your client appears to be going through a difficult divorce, I'm unaware of my of any orders, ordinances, or restrictions upon Mr. Brewer's constitutional right to associate with anyone, including his neighbor, your wife, which I won't say the name, <laughs> yeah. which I know right now his blood is boiling. It's a woman. While Mr. Brewer would rather not be drawn into the marital hostilities, your client's apparent paranoia and actions, including verbal and physical threats, trespassing, 
spying, <laughs> and assaulting behavior have required frequent police intervention and caused great concern with the Brewer family. Unless the court orders cure my ignorance of any applicable fees, we see no choice but to retain local counsel in order to obtain injunctive relief against Mr. Pizza Man continuing harassment and threats towards Mr. What, Brewer. What does injunctive relief mean? Damn. It's not good. It's, it's basically, it says, good, no. this, is, this is the streetwise. Yeah. One more fucking letter. <laughs> With this stu if you fucking threaten my guy one more time, in the fucking oven you go. Okay. <laughs> in the oven yeah, you go. In the oven. You hear me? One more phone call, one more. In the oven you go. So that was to his lawyer. That's his lawyer Good. and to him. Good. Because the lawyer will understand, even if he's not a legit lawyer, or he'll a understand, lawyer, he'll he'll understand lawyer. the awful implications of oh, that. Oh, yeah. It's going to try to. And my lawyer, my lawyer actually tried to. He's like, Jim, do you really want to pursue this? I went, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it doesn't now, end now here. You're, now you're pissed. Yeah. It doesn't end. It's not going to end here. No. I, you know, it's going to be one day where I'm playing in the yard and his kid touches my, you know, my grass. And I got to worry about this fucking wacko right. yeah, exactly. doing something stupid. No, I want him uh, everything mm. I could do. Full blown assault. Done. You, ha you have to uh, set up a yeah barrier You've of had protection enough. around I've had yourself. Enough. But however, if you love to have his pizza, <laughs> search him in town. I'm sure you would love it. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> Good pizza, huh? It's not New York pizza. It's not Giuseppe's pizza. <laughs> it's not Roma's pizza. Uh -huh. It's not. Um, let's see, Roma, New York pizza. Uh -huh. Napoli. It's not Napoli. Uh, not Giuseppe's. Mm -hmm. But if there's another pizza place somewhere around, mm. which was, I believe, voted like number one. This is. Wow. Yeah, voted <laughs> number one in the county <laughs> <laughs> by his best friend that he paid off. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, yeah, wow. that's the world I've been in. That's, that's a that? great story. And while I'm doing that, I bring my dad to get some relief. Yeah. Who's 86. I bring him to the, I'm like, let me get my dad out. A little okay. family time. I'm sitting there. In 15 minutes, these guys come over to talk to my dad. And I say, I say, I got a World War II hat on. And blah, blah, we want to take you out. And that's a dad. You know, where I've been, I've been here, blah, blah. And they're like, yeah, we want to take Atlantic City, get something good to eat. What do you like eating? Cunt. Like, oh, <laughs> He said that. that. Yeah, the lady behind. That is it. <laughs> Wait, you got the That name? is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is it. Somebody somebody had it. Somebody yeah, just a few people it had right. it. Somebody popped it right up on the board there. Went, so feel yep. free to go there and have great conversation with him to know that. And ask him, like, hey, how's it going with the bills and your new private jet? <laughs> That you're burying your children with. Isn't, that not, isn't he a nice class act citizen, this guy? Uh, that's Jesus. great. That is a great story, Dr. Man. Steve, by the way, has this guy knows everything. Injunctive relief. Gaining satisfaction through legal means, i.e. by injunction. Which is kind of what we assume. Thank you, Steve. So anyway. All that leads to him playing Albany. Oh. <laughs> 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 Gotta pay those lawyers now. <laughs> Are you playing the, uh... Well, I feel better. I feel like I went to therapy. The Virus. Sirius XM.